All right, so this toolbox has not been opened for over 30 years. I got it from my grandpa. He went legally blind just over 31, 32 years ago. And so it has not been opened since then. It's supposed to be woodworking tools in here. See, it's Craftsman and it's had a bit of a rough life. It's even a little number on the top here. I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, let's open this up and see what's inside. Right. Looks like a lot of woodworking tools, which is what he had said. Let's see what we got here. So we have, let's see, staple hammer, staple gun. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Oof, look at this. Tack cloth. Wow, that's brittle. Suburban hardware. 39 cents each. Mountain View, California. Chicago, plier wrench, gripping power of 10 men, pocket workshop. Wow, this stuff looks pretty old. Special order numbers. A hundred tools in one. Guess that one didn't make it into this toolbox. This know how to care, use and care for your handsaw. Sears, Roebuck and Company. That tells you this is old. What's this here? Oh, this must have been Sears, Roebuck and Co. So this toolbox looks to be from about the 60s based on what I've seen. Got a little mallet here. To say rawhide mallet. Interesting. Some chisels. A couple wide ones. Still got some dirt from whatever was used on last. However long ago, and a real wide one here. Let's see. Made in USA. Buck Bros. Or safety goggles. That looks like a little piece of our bag here. Still sharp. Some sort of a guarantee here. Craftsman Portable Electric Tool. Whoa, date of sale, January 1959. Interesting. And we got some picture wire here. I'm wondering if some of this stuff is a lot older than 30 years. USA. Some more picture hangers with this cord. Hold on, pull the top out, Let's see what else we got. All right, we got lots of stuff. Some very large saw. Oh, what's this say? Professional, made in USA, craftsman again, rip saw. Another one here. Ooh. 
Ooh, seems to have a little more use. You got little markings on the handle here, at least on that side. Else we got a little keyhole saw here. Craftsman again. <laughs> kind of the same pattern except with this old plastic. Light up your top here. blade cut at floor level pull it like this drill here wow look at that beautiful wood had a bit of a rough life but Still a nice kind of cherry color. Oh, Craftsman again. Yes, it is. Great big bit for that drill. Still got little chunks of whatever it's used with last. 525, huh? Orchard Supply Hardware. Those are out of business now. Another Craftsman box here. Let's see what we got. Let's see here. Ah, yes, more drill bits. This is right here, 4 sixteenths, all the way on up to 16 sixteenths, half inch, full inch. I wonder what this one was for. Then. Must have needed something really big. Look at the comparison. But, uh, and here we go. Look at that. Stanley. I was just going to say it's probably Craftsman, but this time I'm wrong. Nice handle. Spin like that. Spins the bottom here. And it spins as you compress. See, you got a little Craftsman block plane here. Still little pieces of wood in there. Made in the USA. Seems a lot of this stuff was. I guess considering it was a while ago. Alright, getting down to the end. A little bit of fluff. And a carving tool set. The Miller Falls Company. Greenfield, Massachusetts, huh? Number 107. Couple of little carving tools here. Put blades on them. Cool. And the last thing, something about rotary sanding. This is, gosh, this is brittle. Ooh, ripped it right there. Well, wow, this paper's really coming apart on me. There we go. Wow. Rotary sander, so oh, well. It's kind of a guide. Interesting. There must have been a craftsman sander in here at some point. All right, so quite a lot of stuff, a lot of woodworking tools. I know my grandpa did a lot of woodworking in his time and looking forward to doing some more woodworking myself. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more videos.